Hmm, in what seems to be the norm, I have uh, joined the game in the middle of the night because, well, why not? The night's the best time to play and build and do good stuff and yeah, it's so easy to see and I have no idea what that thing is because I can't see it because it's dark. Looks like it's a goat over there though and a slime, maybe a bear over here. But hey, hey, what is a golem stuck in the water? Um, this might not end too well. I think he just got out. No, he didn't. But I got the nine cat block. Okay, I'm gonna leave that guy there. Whatever. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, I have done a lot of work off camera, as I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to do. As you will notice, we now have full perimeters with fencing due to good old safety councils saying it's unsafe to not have it fenced in. I don't know what that is, but something is stuck where it shouldn't be um this what sounds like there's a bug flying around or something anyway this needs to get fenced off yet but i don't have any fences on me so yeah that's not that's not very safe someone could just walk right off and maybe hurt themselves if they were stupid um but yes i have determined that I shall put more pathways up to the upper level in. So what I'm going to do is take out this and that and that protection block and this light and that protection block there. All right, and then that and that will be removed. No, I don't remember it. I think so. And we'll seal that up. That and that. I'll have to throw some glass in there, which I can make some real quick here. You know. I'll throw glass. Whoops. Meant to put the glass there. Uh, we will have the glass windows. It doesn't really need anything fancy. There's not even a point to do that because there's going to be a stairway sitting right in front of that. Um, and this will just be two steel doors so the zoo personnel can get in. And um, I'll have doors there going to the outside so I can get outside. And we're going to do the same on this side. I think the... Yeah, I got something stashed on this side. So he's going to have to find a new home. Which I don't think he's going to mind. Oh wait, you know what? That's not mine. Uh, do cake owns that. Well, I'll just let him out then. He can wander the zoo. That's fine. Yeah, you can you can just wander around, buddy. Uh, you're out of security. The night watch. Yeah, you, you don't have to stay here, buddy. You can you can go wherever. It's fine. And it's, it won't bother me one bit. Okay, wooden doors you still dig. Steel doors you don't, though. Alright. Whatever. It really makes no difference to me. Okay, now... It should look like that, like that. Yeah, you're not gonna fit through there, buddy. Sorry, wait. Wait a moment. Oh, duh. Because it's an opening of two. I was thinking, why is this not the same as it was on the other side? What did I do wrong? And uh, yeah, I pretty much forgot to put the opening big enough. All right, so that'll let me get in here. This one probably won't have a door to the outside because there's really no point to. Uh, on the back side here, I'm going to get rid of 
uh, that little farm. That's going to go bye-bye. And I'm going to put a farm in over here, which is kind of silly to do because it's all sand. But, you know, I got so much dirt that I can easily throw dirt in without any problems. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to have to move these fences. It's always so annoying. I don't know what tool you're supposed to use to remove fences. Because it seems like no matter what I use, it takes forever. Like, even using, like, a Meese pickaxe or sword, it still just takes forever. And you would think that a wooden fence, you should use an axe to remove. That would just seem to make sense. But that doesn't seem to go any faster either. And I just, I don't know. It takes forever. I have no torches. Ooh. I was going to throw some torch light up on there. Oh well. Uh, looks like I still got to get torches in quite a few more spots. I need one, two, three, four. I'm not going to have enough fence pieces from what I removed to put that out. Oh wait, yeah I will. Almost fell. Which admittedly wouldn't have done any damage at all. So I could have. Though I don't know if I can get up. Nope. Well, this is going to be fun. I don't know if I'm able to place these very well. I might. I'm able to reach the front facing portion of the fence piece. That was super, super descriptive. The front facing portion of the fence piece. Yes. Yes. And that is exactly what I shall do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Beautiful. Whoa, whoa ho ho Hello there, Night Watch. Wait, where, where are you coming from now? Man, you guys, you need to get out of my way here. I'm trying to... Trying to work, please, please. Excuse yourselves. I tell you, sometimes the people I hire are just... They're not all they could be. All right, that is done. All right, so with light breaking, what do we want to do? Um, I don't know. Get rid of that farm, maybe. Go pop a door in here. Excuse me, bears, but you're kind of in my way, and I think they're stuck. Yeah, he's totally stuck. Here, let me free you. And I don't know why I'm using a pickaxe when I have a perfectly good shovel I could be using. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a big enclosure around this, too. Because I don't just want everybody that's visiting to head out to my farmland and start jacking stuff. Like, I need this food to feed the animals. It, it's for the animals. Totally not for me. Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but that wasn't supposed to. No, don't. Why Why do they want to do this? Can somebody please explain the bear's logic to me? Like, why are you hanging around? I don't really want to attack them because they're so cute. And I'm... I don't need them attacked. I just... I don't need them there. Oh, I ran out. What a shame. Good thing I have to dig like 10,000 more pieces so it doesn't matter. Okay, let me throw some in here. Not that that's really even going to matter. Because I'll never see that. How large do I need this to be? Well, probably pretty large. What if I do... out to there and then I'll throw in a wall of these and then I'll put like two sets of fences on top or something so that's two windows so this should go right there and there and there and there and there and yes you have to remove this sand 
fortunately, I think I need a lot of glass anyway. Oh, hey. What if I put a huge glass dome over it? That would probably actually be the right way to do this. I'll do a glass dome. I could even stick with the same system I got going on here. No, if I'm going to use... I'll do a glass top. I know. I'll decide on the spacing between the pillars later. Something just killed something that dropped a Nyan cat. It's like, I love it. These these bears, they just... I don't even understand that. They haven't been tamed or anything. Like, these aren't tame bears. Oh, hi there, buddy. But yet, they're fighting slimes for me. Like, I love it. And that's why I don't want to just kill them, because as annoying as they are, they're literally, in a very real sense, risking their lives to keep me safe. Like, you just, you gotta admire that in a stupid mob AI that doesn't even have a conscience or, you know, any set of morals, and it's risking its own life fighting, you know, giant rats and stuff. Or slimes, you know. But whatever, it's fighting things. And admittedly, it's not really to keep me safe, it's to keep its own butt safe. <laughs> but if I happen to be in that same area, it is essentially keeping me safe by fighting. I don't know. I just, I admire that. And that's why I don't want to kill him. And there you have my Moral High Horse sermon for the day. Okay, let's figure this out. I should probably just do a square. So what is my spacing here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now I think... That is a giant wasp. I don't know if you've seen that right up there. There was one of those over here before. But it didn't really seem to want to attack me, which I mean I'm cool with. Okay, let me double check this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 open spaces. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 open spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, I am one space off. Yep. And that's how, that's how worried I am about this. Like, it's a video game. It doesn't even matter. But it has to be correct, or it'll bug me. We'll put a full glass roof on here. I wonder if I should have made it taller. What will be th three nodes? It should be fine. It'll be the same height as this. There's no reason that that shouldn't work okay. And I'll throw some super glow glass up on top so it'll always be lit. Lit as in having light, not as in whatever the the hipster slang lit means. I don't even know if that's actually hipster. It's probably not. Probably every single one of my hipster viewers just got super mad. Like, bro, that is not hipster. Like, that's totally not hipster, man. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I guess. I also don't know why I don't have a axe with me. Oh no. Wrong level. Alright, let's put one here. I'm just gonna have a tree growing through the wall. Because the, um. I don't know what organization Greenpeace? I don't think Greenpeace does anything with trees. The National Arbor Foundation. If you live in the U.S., I think that's actually a thing. 
Um, they told me that I had to have that tree. It's an endangered species, or so they say, I don't know. I haven't gone around the entire world and counted every single one of those palm trees to know if they truly are endangered or not. They could totally just be lying to me, because they don't want me to build. But, yeah, you know what, I'm going to build anyway. And I'll just avoid that stupid palm tree and let them cry over it like a bunch of babies. I don't know what the point really in doing this is, other than it gets rid of sand that I don't need. But, like, the sand's not really accomplishing anything, it's just making a wall. And dirt's going to be sitting in here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, you know what, I should have actually thought about something other than this outside. I should have thought about the plots I'd fit in this. I do have a bunch of dirt on me. Good. Let me start figuring out plots. Because I may have to change perimeters. Okay. Entry, I'm going to keep as aspen would. Poplar. Poplar. This is poplar, not aspen. Why do I think it's aspen? Probably because aspen's that kind of color in real life. Okay. So. We're going to want a plot. 9x9 nine nine with what now? See, the trouble is, where do you put the water when you have four pieces? Any place you put it in the center is offset, which bugs me. So, this is what we're going to do. We will put, I'll just put a sand there to represent water. All right. And then this will be a, um, I should find a different material to use for that. You know, I could just keep that sand for all it matters. Yeah, I'll just put it all in sand. It'll be easier to figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so let's dig this out. Dig, dig, dig. All right, so we'll have Plots that are 4x4, four four, and I'm hoping the water will work the way I think it will. Okay, and then we'll do this. Now 14, 4x4 four four with 1 between. I think that divides out right, actually. It does, beautiful. I may have to do a small cheat in hiding water in the corner there to keep this um, this plot hydrated but I think I can pull that off okay and I goofed I made that one 4 by 3 alright um, this should work okay so that gives me enough plots there then I do the same thing here 1, 2, 3, 4 one, two, three, four. Bring it in. Do that. Throw some sand here. I don't know what I'm going to do in the center. I also don't know, should I... Should I allow the general public onto the roof of this? Would anybody want to look into a garden? I don't know. You gotta... You gotta think with the mind of the tourists. Don't build for what you like. Build for what the people will like. Because they're ultimately the ones that are paying the bills. Wise words from uh, uh, me, I guess. I don't know. Did somebody else say that before? I don't know. They may have. If they did, they stole it from me. I invented that. I get full credit. This is really dark. I need light. I can't see anything. I don't think I have any torches. I don't. Super glow glass to the rescue. I'm very pleased that this actually worked out for the sizing. I For not having put plots out first, this ended up working really well. And usually I am 
way more thorough in my planning. And this time I was just like, ah, you know, I'm just going to go with it because it'll be this, you know, a square enclosure. And I didn't like do any math to figure out what sizing to use. As I'm sure you noticed. And it worked. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, so I got some lights. It's kind of lit. Um, that'll close off that. And then we'll be doing... Maybe I'll do water in two spaces. There and there. I could do that. I don't know what I want to put here, though. Well, for the time being, I'll split it. I could fill this whole center with water. That could be kind of cool. Have, like, a pond in the middle. I don't think there's any aquatic plants, but... Maybe throw some fish in there. That's an idea. Throw some fish in there. But then I'd almost want to let people in it. And people can't come in here. I don't know. I need some... I need some better ideas. What I actually need to do is... Why did I exit that? That was stupid. I should have stayed in this pathway. I need to get stuff. Oh, come on, guys. How are you... I don't understand how these animals keep getting back in here. Oh, boy. Who left the door open on their cage? I don't think I did that. You guys aren't supposed to be out. There's two possibilities. One, I forgot to close the door. Or two, somebody else came along and opened my wooden doors and let my wolves out. It's possible. They're only wooden. I should look into getting something different for the doors. Um, ba ba ba, water bucket. I do need that. I need to get some protection blocks out in there too, actually. That should be much higher on my priority list. Ah, the axe. Ooh. Oh, you know, I had a steel axe right there. I mean, didn't even look, honestly. I don't need any more dirt. I need wood. Doesn't look like I have any of... I have so much. Oh, I'm gonna need this. I've got so much junk. Like, actual junk. I need slabs. Or do I just want to do stairs? Stairs would be so much easier. I'm just gonna do stairs. Fences, I need those. I don't know why I have those in two stacks. That's kind of silly. Obsidian glass, raw meat, let's cook that. Um, sand, I don't think I need. The, uh, the ice, I don't need. But I don't have a spot I can throw that. Uh, bone, I don't need. I also got in one of these chests, I thought. Yep. I got so many bones. Uh, yeah, I think... How are these animals all getting in here? This is silly. Just silly. Okay, well, we'll take a little run. I bet that guy got out of his cage, too. I actually don't even have to put doors on this. Well, once I... I'm gonna have to upgrade all the doors to locked doors or something, I feel. Okay, I think I should be able to grab some water. Oh, no. I can't get... Oh, wait, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, and then I need to put one there. And that'll make this a source. And then I'll put it in each corner. And... Let nature take its course. And I think it'll eventually fill itself. Or not. Nope, I don't think it will. I'll put one there. There we go. Sweet sauce. So I have unlimited water in the center, which is good. 
and let's go ahead and pop water right there. And these four I know will be fine. And honestly, that pond may serve to hydrate the rest of this. Hmm. I'm going to do this in the back. I think that pond is actually going to hydrate this dirt. As much as you wouldn't think it would, I think it will. Okay, well, I got that, so I can pop that in there. I think that's going to make that go away. Yep. It's fine, though. Just a bunch of water. Oh, yeah, this is going to be perfect. I love having an unlimited water supply there. It makes it so much easier and faster. All right, let's try doing the back corner because that's the the place that's going to get the least amount of water to it. Uh, and then we got to do protection blocks on this. And I don't know where to put those. Where's my next closest ones? Oh, wait. I got one there. And I've got one here. Which actually could mean that this is not protected. Hmm. I could do things I put lights there. Those lights are going to have to come down. Protection blocks in the corners. They're a fact of life. You have to have them. If you don't, someone's just going to mess your stuff up. Okay, so this goes just past that palm tree. And this just misses the palm tree, of course. And then this one, you know, gets one half of the garden. So those two in the center aren't covered. This is gonna have to be a non-symmetrical design? That's unacceptable. Hmm. Unless I divide it in thirds, but that's just gonna look weird. I'll have to figure something out in the rooftop. So let's take a look at this. What, why did that one go it has water right next to it. That one I was... I was honestly expecting that one to not work. Mm. Let's go ahead and make the stairs. And I should probably make some fences while I'm at it. Let's see, what do I need here? I don't even know. That gives me eight. How many am I going to need? And these are always so tricky to place, too, because... Oh, wait, that's working. Sweet. Okay, so we got that. Do I have dirt on me? I do. Good. Yep. Dirt is super important to have when doing stairs. All right, so... We basically put a dirt foundation under... And then put stairs down. And I don't have enough. So we'll do like four more. And that should do it, I think. Let me give them 32. Mm, that might be enough. There we have that. And then we just dig out all this dirt. Because there's absolutely no reason to have it. It does make for a very steep stairway, unlike the one in the back. I might change that, honestly. I think this works fine. I want to have, like, that real shallow slope that the that I have on the other side, but honestly, I think this is okay. Like, it doesn't feel too steep. And especially because it is stairs, and they do work like stairs should, and that you can just walk right up them without jumping. 
I don't really see that that's an issue. I can get up. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Let's run over to the other side and do the same. Hello, Mr. Horsey. Whoa. It's like the horse invasion. The horse apocalypse. Would there be any point in doing that? What do you think, horse? Ah, uh, he seems to be nodding his head in agreement, so... Dude, did someone let out my horses or what? Why are there so many horses everywhere? I guess I shouldn't be complaining, seeing as how this is a... You know... Some place that I'm supposed to have animals, but... That's kind of a lot. You know what I mean? And I don't know why I have so many. Excuse me. Workmen trying to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool, cool, cool it. Nobody's going to get hurt. As long as you're not doing something stupid. Excuse me. Horses. How are you... What? I don't... You don't shake your head at me. Okay, what is going on here? Did somebody literally go through and open all of my doors? They did. Somebody literally went through and opened every single one of my doors. Well, that was really uncool. And I know that wasn't me. Come on. No. And that's why those bears are chilling over there. Because someone let them out of their cage. These wolves don't seem to be tamed, though. But this cow is. Hey, cow, are you... Are you tamed? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, well... Are you? Oh, great. So I have a... A non-tamed wolf. Oh, man. Oh, come on. You were supposed to leave. I don't think he'll attack them, but... Don't worry, guys. Oh, no. I didn't mean to punch you. Are you a tamed wolf? No. Are you tamed? No. Kindly exit the facilities, however. Not the horses. You guys stay in there. I'm surprised that cow is not tamed. Are bears gone? Those guys are still in there. He's still in there. Well, there's one bear in there. My Nyan cat's still there. Are you a tamed wolf? He is. Okay, I need to do something about these doors. But that's going to have to wait for another episode because this is already a little over 30 minutes. What I need to do right now is just eat something real quick so I don't die. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Delicious. Throw this dirt. Wait. Oh, the dirt went into the... Into the something else. Okay, let me take the dirt out of the furnace. And chuck it in here. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that like that for right now. Um... Off camera, I'm going to replace all these wooden doors with locked wooden doors. Assuming I can do that. I would just be really boring. But I will see you guys next time around.